Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Thursday afternoon weather webcast for January 8th, 2015. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. We told you about the cold the last couple of nights, and uh, now we had it early this morning. Temperatures plummeted very, very chilly early this morning. 16, the official low temperature this morning in Dothan, Ozark, Enterprise, Geneva, 13 in Troy, 15 in Abbeville, 20s down closer to the coast. When it gets into the 20s near the coast, you know we've got a lot of cold air. And with the winds, the wind chills were in the single digits. Two, three, four degrees is what it felt like early this morning with that wind. All clear, not a cloud in the sky for us. We do have some clouds, though, uh, down south off the, uh, the Gulf Coast. Uh, in the entire Gulf of Mexico, there's a bunch of clouds. We'll uh, describe why we have those here in just one second. Temperatures right at freezing as of 1 o'clock in Dothan, 33 in Troy in Enterprise, 35 in Geneva, 34 in Ozark. This is about as warm as it's going to get. Maybe a couple of more degrees, but that will be it for afternoon highs for today. And thank goodness the winds have died down. Instead of out of the northwest at around 15 to 20 like we had them yesterday, right now they're out of the northeast at around 5, 6, 7, 8 miles per hour, a little bit stronger uh, in Mariana, Bonifay, and Donaldsonville. You see all the cold air in the southeast, 23 in Asheville, 26 in Birmingham, 29 in Atlanta, 28 in Jackson, 56 in Tampa, and a comfortable 72 down in Miami. Look at all the cloud cover. All these clouds basically due to the cold air. When cold air moves over a warm surface like the water over the Gulf of Mexico, which is uh, in the 60s right now, middle and upper 60s for uh, temperature, water temperatures out uh, about 20 miles offshore, you get all these uh, clouds, higher level uh, cumulus or uh, cirrus clouds, I should say, and even some uh, mid-level uh, cumulus clouds moving through, but a, a very cool scene even off into the Atlantic too. Some light shower activity off the uh, Florida coastline near Jacksonville, but uh, none of, uh, of, of consequence for us. And a little bit of a, a re return in the uh, upper levels, a little bit of moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere around here, but that is not going to be hitting the ground. No precipitation for us. You see uh, clouds and uh, some snowfall north in the Great Lakes region. The uh, southern extent of that trough now starting to uh, lift back to the north, and that's uh, where you've got that moisture coming from uh, now through the Great Lakes region, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan here in the next uh, few hours we'll be seeing some snow. And temperatures not quite as cold as they were yesterday. Thank goodness. Yesterday for highs, they were below zero. At least they're on the other side of that number. Four in International Falls, four in Chicago, six in Minot. Future temperatures tomorrow morning. Futurecast not doing a very good job picking up on how cold it's going to be for early tomorrow morning. I think we're squarely in the middle 20s tomorrow, middle and some upper 20s, but I think most of us will be right around 25 to 26 degrees early on Friday. So subtract about five or six degrees, and that's what we'll see for temperatures tomorrow morning. Afternoon highs, though, pretty close to what we'll see. I think uh, middle 40s for uh, afternoon temperatures on Friday. And because of the big dip in temperatures, once again, hard freeze warning in effect for the counties shaded in purple early tomorrow morning. Uh, that uh, that freeze warning ends, that hard freeze warning ends, but it starts at 6 p.m. We're expecting temperatures to dip below freezing by 6 o'clock tonight and go all the way through tomorrow morning. Not quite as cold as it will be, uh, not quite as cold as tomorrow morning as it, as it was this morning, but we're still gonna have very, very chilly conditions for, uh, for the evening time tonight and into early tomorrow morning. And uh, finally start to get above freezing by eight o'clock and then we'll see moderating temperatures for the uh, rest of Friday and into the weekend ahead. Even some rain chances too. And we'll discuss those in the five day forecast coming up on uh, News 4 at five, six and 10. Also on WRGX News at 5.30. Hopefully everyone is staying warm today and we'll see you back here on Friday.